Hi, it's happened. I have found a book off the book along list that I actually like as much as um, Old God's Time. The House of Doors by Tan Twang Ang. Oh, wow. This really, really got to me. It's so gorgeous and the descriptions are so lush. And look at this edition. Look at those gorgeous end covers. Aren't they beautiful? Right. Um, it's set in Penang and we move backwards and forwards from 1921 to 1910. But the book is framed by an opening and a closing chapter set in 1947. Right. In the opening chapter, Leslie Hamlin receives a parcel at her farm in South Africa where she's living, where she's living alone. And this parcel seems to have gone around the world to get to her. And it's a book. It's um, Somerset Morn's The Casarina Tree. And it causes memories to resurface. And the memories that it draws back to her um, are the two week uh, of the two week period in 1921 when Somerset Maughan, um, who's referred to as Willie throughout the book, and his secretary Gerald Haxton stayed with Leslie and her husband at their house in Penang. You get such beautiful descriptions that the writing, some people say the writing is flowery, but I, I just thought it was beautiful. Leslie and Willie form a bond and over the fortnight that Willie is with, um, with them, she tells him secrets that she has never shared before. And she tells him these even though her husband's warned her that Somerset Morn, that Willie collects stories to put in his books. She still shares this story with him. And the stories take us back, her story takes us back to 1910. And here, fact and fiction merge a little bit because two characters in her 1910 story are actual real life characters. We've got Edith, sorry, Ethel Proudlock, who was tried for murder, and the Chinese revolutionary Sun Yat-sen. She reveals to Willie her connection to both of them. This is a novel about relationships that have to be hidden. For example, Willie's relationship with Gerald Haxton. Um, but it's also a role, a book to me, about the role of women at that time. I felt so desperately sorry for Leslie. And the situation that she's in, the, the way that she almost feels trapped at times, wanting to escape at times. This is, a, this is how it got to me anyway. I, I really, really felt, for, I really, really enjoyed the character of Leslie. And what I loved is that at the beginning of the book, she's talking to Willie about, different things and there's a word, there's a phrase, there's an item that she describes and it's only as you get into the book, into her story of 1910 that you realise the significance of these things, these phrases, these items and you think, ah, yes. Um, you realise what has to be hidden. And, and when, when you're looking at these things, you realise how much has to be hidden. So I'm skipping over my notes. I'm trying to do, oh, you, you know what it's like. Um, as for Ethel's story, the story of the murder, that I found that gripping. I found the court case uh, quite gripping. And again, it's only towards the end of the book that you realise 
Ethel's plight and she is again someone you feel so so sorry for. The title, The House of Doors. In the book, The House of Doors is an actual place and the twisting and turning doors. You could say that each chapter is a door that's being opened but you could also say that each chapter is a door where secrets are hidden. There's everything in here. You've got adultery, you've got murder, you've got revolution, you've got um, secrets, you've got death, you've got love, you've got heartbreak. And this has got to go on the short list. This definitely has to go on the short list. Um, because you know, I've, I've finally found a book up book um, in this, this read of the long list that I'm excited about. It's taken a bit of time, but I've got there. Um, yeah, and that's another reason why I read the the long lists, the book a long list, because sometimes you pick up something that you think is a, is a little gem. Uh, so, The House of Doors, um, on the book a long list, fingers crossed, it gets to the short list. So happy reading. Take care.